Ah, good day everyone, and welcome to my brand new vlog channel. What the heck? Welcome back to the daily lifestyle of Joe and Deb Christepha. It's happening again. Guys, if you don't know, I spent four years of my life vlogging every single day, and then I stopped because of pretty much the algorithm on my main channel, but I decided that I'm going to start back up with the daily vlogs because A, I miss it, and B, I just felt like I was so much more connected to you guys when I was daily vlogging. So this is kind of a channel for me to just throw stuff up on the internet that I don't have to be too intense about. It can literally just be a two minute video of the day or it can be like a 30 minute video. You're gonna get a whole bunch of random stuff, hopefully every single day. But if you're coming to this channel, then the puppies have just been delivered into our lives and you probably saw that video. So I say we go check on the puppitos and see how they're doing today. And I guess you guys will see every single day from here on out how they're doing so if you're not already subscribed go ahead hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button because that is one of the biggest things that will help this channel in the algorithm is if that bell notification button is on because it will show that you guys are engaged in my channel and will really help and support me so please go do that but let's go check on the babies let's go hi mommy how are the babies doing oh my god Goodness, wow, they're getting so big. <laughs> You've been feeding them a lot of milk, haven't ya? Oh my gosh, did these literally just come out of you yesterday? They look double the size. Okay, so the names of the puppies still haven't been decided. So for now, we're calling them the color of their collar. Mr. Red, you were our firstborn yesterday. He's the only one who has a separate birthday. The rest were born this day. So yeah, he's the firstborn who was born on the 20th. Look at that freaking face. I can't even. So, Mama, how are you doing? Your first day is a real full-on mom. You're killing it. She's been so good all day. <gasps> Mr. Blue, oh my gosh. Guys, I honestly think Blue and Teal are two of my favorites so far. Obviously, I haven't gotten to know them too much, but oh my goodness. He's the one, um, you guys couldn't see it because I probably blurred it out in the video, but his entire sack was full of blood and it was so terrifying. I legit thought that he was like gonna be a stillborn or I don't know, something was wrong with him, but he was fine. His paws are so gorgeous. That gray color is honestly it's so triggering. I don't know why it's triggering, but it's triggering. He's just so handsome. Mr. Green and him are the two black ones. Hi. Oh. <gasps> they like to cuddle a lot, actually. It's really funny. They all have their own personalities. It's so crazy to see how they are. Oh, hey, let's not have your neck drip down like that. And you should probably put something in there. Um, your yellow man. What you eating? What flavor's on the menu today, mama? <laughs> Just regular old milk. <gasps> Hi, where are you going, Mr. Greeny? I'm not your mommy. I know my hair's really leggy. My hair's really leggy. <laughs> My leg's really hairy. Oh my gosh, not the cuddles. Goddamn. Little tiny population. Oh my goodness. I just want to stay in here all day, every day. Oh my god, you are so freaking sweet. Why are, you, why are you cuddling with me? You like me? You think I'm your dad? Where are you going off to? Huh? This is a heated pad, by the way, so that's why they're staying away from mommy. Which is nice because it's like, we don't have to worry about them as much, like getting the warmth from her. They can just get warm from the pad. Oh, are you dreaming, Mr. Red? This is Red. He was our firstborn baby. He's just sleeping. He has two white paws. He's a very docile one. He likes to sleep a lot. He was actually the most active one when he came out of the womb and now he just sleeps. Their umbilical cords are drying up nicely, so that's good. Mr. Teal is hidden over there. Look at that little paw, it's so freaking cute. I love when they like cuddle in with each other. It's so adorable. Um, I could honestly just put the camera on them all day and just have the best time of my life. What are you doing? Get out of your brother's belly. Oh. 
Mr. Teal. You are probably one of the most handsome boys I've ever seen. Look at him. Oh my god, that little freaking face. And his markings are stunning. He has like a little bit of gray on his paws. He was the um, second born. And immediately when I saw him, I just fell in love. I mean, I fell in love with all of them instantly, but there was just something special that I like, I felt with him. I don't know, just like an instant connection between him and also Blue, I think I'm most connected with. Yeah. I know it's probably not good to like choose a favorite already, but <laughs> I have a favorite. Look at those lips. Kylie Jenner, who? Wow. Look at this man. He is the sweetest, most docile one. He's also the most gluttonous one. He's probably eaten more milk than any of them have. And he loves it. He lays on his back while he feeds too. Oh my God. I love you, Teal. You're the sweetest boy. Mama, give him kisses. Give him a kiss. All right, you continue your nap. And you guys keep feasting. This is our little girl, Pink. You're so cute. She's cuddling with her mommy. Just two girls chilling. Look at how sweet this little pink princess is. Who's making all that ruckus? Oh my god, those little hind legs. Stop it. This is cuteness freaking blue to the max. Blue, you have a lot to say, don't you? What do you, what do you have to say for yourself? Blue is like a little old man. Do you need mama? Let's go see mommy. There you go. This is blue and green, our two black ones. They love each other so much. They came out um, one after another, and so they've been pretty attached since. He likes belly rubs. Oh, Mr. Blue. We have a visitor. Mama, do you need an ice cream? Let's go get you something good. Give you a little treat. They're sucking everything out of you, aren't they? Let's go get you an ice cream. All right, let's see what's behind door number one. Okay, well, we have a lot of Halo Top, but that's not for them. Okay, we have these ice creams we just got last minute yesterday. They're actually kind of expensive. They're like five bucks each, but if you got two, it was like 50% off. Um, so this one's strawberry and apple. This one is banana honey. Oh, it's dairy free too. Okay, let's give her this one. I guess this is kind of more like a sherbet. Hi, mom. Good mommy's get treats. Here you go. Is that yummy for you? That'll cool you off too. Give you some sustenance. Not teal eating yet again. Literally, he's gonna be the biggest. I know it. I'm calling it now. Okay, so I'm in here cuddling them. Freaking Lavender loves to climb up. You are going to be the biggest triple. Oh my God, she's like gonna suck onto my nipple. I keep calling it a she, I'm sorry. You're not a she, you're a she. How do you know that's my nipple? <laughs> it latches on. Suddenly I start lactating. Blue is has been cuddling me the past like 15 minutes. So I feel like they're all like vying for my love. So. I'll keep them. Hi, Daddy. Logging and posting. <laughs> yeah. Now, Keisha, you're gonna eat this meat and you're gonna eat it oh well. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> don't fall down. Oh, you're an energetic one, aren't ya? <laughs> oh, squeakums. It's a squeak toy. Mama's eating. Finally, you're eating the puppy food that you need to make your milk. Huskies are very picky, so I got three different types of food and she likes it. She likes it. Now finish and it. Girl. You guys are gonna get extra milk later. Baloo is so freaking cute. Look at him just cuddling in with me. Yellow is a porker. No, Teal is the porker. Look teal at this little Bellina. So after you went to bed and I was here for like an hour and I couldn't sleep, there was, they were all sleeping and only one was yelling. Guess who it was? 
It wasn't Teal. It was Teal. No. He was sitting there on a nipple and yelling at the same time. No, I don't believe it. Yeah. No. Nope. Yep. False. Yep. What'd you get me? What'd you get me? I got you some unfiltered probiotic goat's milk. Oh. Delicious. No, I got a bunch of stuff for Lark because she's been really picky with food and she yeah. needs to be on puppy food, so she produces milk. So I got three different options and hopefully she likes them. Three different options? This is more than three. No, three brands. Oh wait, is this the one I gave her before? Oh, yeah. banana oh, apple. Is this the one that's her favorite? Or? Is that the one that's $5 for a little container? Oops, it sure and is. Sponsor us, who is it? Billy and Margo. Then I got um, bone broth. Which is like a good source oh, of Oh, she likes that. Look how rich this is for dogs. Slow simmered with cranberries, apples, chia, turmeric, collagen. <gasps> the richest. That, are you kidding? 2019, get into it. But this is good. You can put this on dry dog food and make it a little more zestier. Appetizer. Yes, aperitif. Um, and currently right now I am making myself a uh, sweet potato because I'm making pizza, but healthy pizza tonight. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys how I make it. All right, so my sweet potatoes have been steamed up and this is also a recipe that I learned from the medical medium. So what you need is premium arrowroot flour, coconut flour, oregano leaves, and some salt. And I've already put it all in here and it's ready to mix up. And now I just need to add my sweet potatoes and put it in the mixer and we can start the pizza. Oh, oh, hi, skinny, gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so I should probably have a different one of these things to mix this up, but I don't have the dough mixer. So I'm just gonna use this to blend it all together. Wow, look at it go. Alrighty. All right, I'm gonna start to put this in a ball and flatten it out into a pizza crust. Okay, so what I like to do is literally just grab it with my hands and make it into a ball. It is kind of really warm right now, so I might get third degree burn, I might not. Oh, you know what, it actually feels kind of nice. We're just gonna go on in there, reach on in. And now this is actually big enough to give two sizes of pizzas, two full pizzas. I'm gonna put the recipe link in the description, although my recipe version of it is a little bit different. I kind of just played around with the amount of what the ingredients are and they turned out pretty good. So end up with a big ball like this. Wow, I'm like a full-on pizza man. So yeah, just, oh, this is a workout. So the reason why I do the sweet potato crust is because I love pizza, obviously, but I haven't been able to have it because I can't do gluten. So anyways, I end up with this ball. I'll go like this, chop it in half, and now I have two balls. So let's uh, set this one down. And let's round this one out as well. And then we'll start flattening it into the pizza shape. Also, I did wash my hands after playing with the dogs. Don't worry, your sweet, sweet soul. Cooking with Joey. Let's show y'all how to flatten these damn pizza balls because I'm sure you don't know how, so I have to teach the people of the world. Okay, so we will start with this one. Basically, I just go like this and I just knead it out from the center. Gorgeous pizza. <gasps> 10 hours later, I have made the crust. Hopefully it will be nice and crispy. I try to make it as thin as possible, just so it actually turns into a crust and not just like a mush. So I'm gonna go do it to the other one and then we'll pop it in the oven once I'm done that one. Wow. Can you believe this? My Italian heritage is truly showing. Okay, let's pop this in here. Let's let it be. Get in there, you. Go on, cook. Be nice and crispy for me. I'm gonna put convention on and we're just gonna watch this. I'm actually not sure how long I'm gonna put it in for. I usually like it to be extra crispy. So we'll see. Alrighty, let's take a look. Oh, oh, I may have overdone it. Yep, okay. Uh-oh, take them out quick. Quick them, um, because I still have to put the toppings on and then put it back in there. 
Okay, crispy. It's gonna be a real crisp. Actually, you know what? See, this is what it probably should have ended up as. But you know what? It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, you know what? I think we're good. So I'm gonna go grab the toppings and then we'll put them on. So next, I will take my pesto and place it onto the pizzas. And Maria's teaching me how to make grilled onions. No, caramelized onions. Oh. They're gonna she, be like yellowish. She taught me how to cut them. And also, I already failed because she told me to put oil in a pan and I did and then I put the onions in. But what did I do wrong? You're supposed to let the pan warm up, put the oil, be warm up oil, and then you put the onion and, you know, stir on and off. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's the plan for that. Put some onions and pesto. And then I have some leftover um, of my lunch yesterday, which just had some squash, some cabbage, and some asparagus. Horrific looking. <laughs> Look at that. What is this? Chopped grass for... Porcine. Porcine. <laughs> Do you want some of the pizza? One slice. Okay, with I'll save you onion. one slice. Yes. With my gorgeous caramelized onions that aren't doing anything. I need to turn that you gotta stir them. The pizzas are looking so gorgeous. Although I think I added the pesto sauce a little too early and now I think the oil's soaking into the crust, making it soggy, which is unfortunate, but I've learned my lesson. And now, these onions, this is so crazy. This is literally the first time I've ever done this with onions. But onions are good for you, so I'm excited to add this to my new recipe. And Maria's making some rotten mushrooms over here. Alrighty, get on in there for your last final five-ish minutes of baking. Hopefully you don't get too crispy. Fried rice in there. You too, sisterhood. Gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna leave that in there. So while it's in the oven cooking, I'm checking in on the babies. They're being cute. I just let Lark out for a little pee break. How was that, Mama, your first break? She's like, I gotta check on my children. Here, they're good. I say we go have a little girl time out here. Let's go get you a snack. Mama. Oh, what's this? What's this? It looks like my pate. <laughs> it does. Oh, she's into it. Yes. She's been so picky about the food she wants. Mm. Oh, Marie, you should try some. It looks so delicious. You should try a little. I know. I love it. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I need the French bread. She loves it. I know. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Yes. Yay, Mama. You're eating. Come on. I should check my pizza. Uh oh. Oh, not bad. Okay, I think it's still looking good. No, I just took her out. She's good. Wow, look at these gorgeous beauties. I like it super crispy where it's like almost on the edge of burnt. Like the fact that this goes in so easily, it's shocking to me. Oh, oh she's fine. Oh my God. Uh-oh. That's, you see, you. You have to pay attention! You did that. Is that okay back there? Did it... That's the pen. It got turned off. <laughs> Terrible. I look. can't believe you what set a fire. You did because look at you. You you had to close to my, my station. Your mushrooms actually got in the way, so... My station, your station. <laughs> we are separate. That was so scary. Are we sure that's... Yeah, that's a vent. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, is it dinner time for you guys too? Wow, did I inspire you with my pizza to start eating dinner? It is, oh my God, this is so freaking cute. It's like the freaking rainbow. Oh my God. Do you all have a nipple? Blue, you don't have one. Do you need help finding one? Let's find you one. Let's see. Where is there one? There might be one. Mm. Sorry, mama. Oh. Of course, Teal found a nipple. He always finds a nipple. Oh, there's one up there. Come here, Blue. I found you one. You just have to go in there and get it. Go get it. Not John. Lavender, don't you steal that from your brother. Blue, you need to eat, bud. I love his old man wrinkly face. Oh my God. The remnants of the fire. 
Oh my god. I thought it was a bug at first that scared me. <laughs> okay, pizzas are out and ready. Are you ready for dinner? Yes, look at my mushrooms. Delicious. Oh, you no, these are saute. Saute with garlic. Oh, terrible. Oh, garlic, dill, and red pepper flakes. No. Yes. Disgusting, terrible. This is gorgeous. All right, bon appetit. Okay, so while I eat this pizza, I'm enjoying some reality TV of The Bachelor in Paradise. We love entertaining reality TV, don't we? So I just took a shower and I'm getting ready to head to bed and I'm just feeling really accomplished with this first daily vlog. So guys, if you're excited about the vlogs, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button, like I said at the beginning. It will really help out this channel and i'm just so excited to be back doing this if you guys are as well give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below of some dog names down below did i ever say that i don't know i'm tired okay so <laughs> i'll see you guys later good damn bye